Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members of the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and while we wait for the dev blogs to start, we speculate, we talk about the future, we talk about in-game features, we try to bring some things to your attention, or me personally, because there's nobody else working on this video, but yeah, you know what I mean, right? So I did a video yesterday on the aircraft that could already have a Fox 3 missile being added right now if Gaijin wanted to, right? But what about different variants of aircraft that are already in the game? Aircraft that would be very easy to add because it would be just a small little difference or a small little variant of an aircraft that is already in the game. How would that be? You know, how many aircraft could we actually add with Fox 3? So, uh, yeah, let's just get into it and you will know what I mean. The first aircraft that we're going to talk about is obviously, just like I talked about yesterday, the F-15C. The F-15C is an aircraft that obviously would be able to carry the Mon 20, especially if he gets the later models of the Raider. And it would be the first F-15 for the US that would actually carry Fox 3 missiles. It can actually carry from the very early variant of the A, MRAM, until the later models of later Cs, etc. Right? So it is a very, very well-known aircraft to be using a Mon 20s. And the A that is right now in the game cannot use that thing. So, uh, kind of sad, but kind of cool because we would get another F-15, right? The second American aircraft would be the Super Tomcat. This is kind of a controversial one, okay? The F-14D variant is the F-14 that technically could actually use the Amon 20. Will it actually use? Well, we don't know. Why? Because it never saw service with that missile. So, we don't know exactly. With the... I mean, there's two, like, takes on this thing. The first one would be what it is possible in real life, and if it's possible, they normally add it for balancing purposes. Um, like the MiG-29, the German MiG-29, actually using R-27 ERs, for example, and R-73 is another missiles that in real life it didn't have time to actually be able to use. I mean, the thing is that that MiG-29 could actually take those missiles, but it never did in German service. And that's kind of the idea with the F-14D over here. They tested the aircraft with the Amon 20 with the new Raider, but uh, it never saw service with the Amon 20. So it's kind of controversial. Should the F-14B D sorry, uh, be added with the Amon 20 or not? Uh, that would be the question. But in theory, technically, since we have aircraft like the F-16AJ, we have the AK-141, we have the MiG-29 using some missiles that it never did in real life, the even Israeli aircraft suffer from this sometimes, um, I don't see why it would be a problem for the D variant to actually receive M120s, according to Gaijin at least, right? Uh, so yeah. Of course, the next one would be the F4F ICE, or the ICE package of the F4F. I mean, it would be an upgrade to the existing F4F that we already have, but of course Gaijin would probably add it as another aircraft, and yeah, then um, the F4F could actually take the M120A and B. So yeah, of course, there's always going to be um, the only aircraft that the Germans can actually have with Fox 3 missiles until the Autofighter comes along. For the Russians, we would have the Su-27, but the Su-27 is interesting because we would have two variants that we can actually have very soon. The Su-27S can actually have our 77s and two extra pylon pylons if, according to Gordon Yeffing, he receives... Um, basically the later model upgrades to the SU-27. So the late production run of the SU-27S that we have in the game could actually take the R-77 in theory at least. So that could be one. Of course, the second one would be the MiG-29S as well. Just a minor difference um, on the original 913 MiG-29 that we have in the game. It would be basically the same aircraft uh, with just an upgrade to the radar and minor upgrades to the flight control systems. Uh, to actually be able to fire the R-77 and pull a little bit more G. That would be the difference, you know? So it would be the same aircraft. So technically we can see it. I see this aircraft be like coming as an event vehicle or something. Uh, so yeah. 
For the British, of course, they already have the grip and they can take an M120, but the Tornado F3 with the CSP package could actually take M120s and uh, SRAMs as well. So it would be very cool to see that. I mean, it would be a very limited aircraft in the sense of performance, but having a very good radar with a very good missile might make this thing more of a top tier contender, right? Uh, for Japan, of course, the F-15J, uh, the version that we have in the game, doesn't have the ability to carry the M-20 or anything like that, uh, in theory at least. I mean, technically it could, but it never did. Um, but with a minor upgrade from 2003-2004 that they did, it could actually take the AEM-4, which is a counterpart to the M-20 made in Japan. So, uh, yeah, that would be very interesting as well. For China, I think the main option would be the J11A, of course. Same principle as the SU-27. Uh, we can have an SU-27 SM, right? So uh, we can have some upgraded models to the J11 as well. Uh, I doubt that we will see it, the SM, but a J11A could actually come uh, being very, very similar to the uh, G11 that we have right now, with just a minor upgrade of actually being able to use the R77, and some people claim that it can actually take some Chinese domestic-made uh, Fox 3 missiles as well, like the PL-12. Uh, I couldn't confirm it, but apparently some of them say that it can, right? Um, and then last but not least, of course, we have the Israelis with the F-16 and the F-15Cs. Right, these both of these aircraft would be very similar to the aircraft that we already have in the US. Uh, the F-15C would be very much the same, uh, and of course the F-16C would be a different version because, of course, we do have the um, the D variant, the Barak too, right? But the thing with the Barak is that it is an aircraft that is heavier, and it isn't really, I mean. Although it can do fighting, dog fighting, air to air, uh, it is a du double place to actually be more of an air to ground platform in Israeli service, kinda, you know. Not that it cannot do anything else, but it would be the objective. So a block 30 or 40 C variant could actually be added, uh, being very like the same as the Barak, but with one place in the aircraft and of course being under the net variant of the aircraft and of course as i said the F f15 would come under the bus uh just like the american one under the a um and yeah this is it guys these are all the aircraft that could actually take r77s right now with minor upgrades to the aircraft some of them would even use the same model with just the internals having different coding in the game right so uh, these are the aircraft that are the most likely ones for each country to come uh, if they need a fox 3 launcher very very soon so hopefully we see those i'm very excited to expect these missiles and these aircraft hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and bye